So so now that Brady's there, right? I saw. Uh, did you see Skip Bayless and Sh- uh, going against uh, Shannon Sharp? And then you know he told, told <laughs> him to take Skip, his glasses Skip off. Being disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. Like he calls him. He says you'll never be as good as Brady and stuff like that. Oh wow! Like he's better than you at forty five, and you retired at thirty five. How would you have reacted to that, bro? Like somebody tell you that, and like, why does it come to that? Boy, that that's that's tough because you know I'm the fifth first ballot Hall of Famer in NFL history. You want to know the other four? Mm. Let let them know. Bob Lilly, Bob Lilly, who they call Mr. Cowboy. Yeah, Merlin Olson, Mean mm. Joe Green, and Randy White. Mm. And then you. Hey, <laughs> I dare you to tell me that. I don't, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think he could have slugged that one at me. I had. I had ten. I had ten sacks as a thirty-five year old. So I. I, I don't think he could have slugged that one at me. Yeah, no, he couldn't but do yeah. that. Shannon, but Shannon, think, Shannon's a great player. Th- Shannon's a great player, but the tight end player, was not utilized like it would be today. Can you imagine that monster standing in the slot and you couldn't hit him underneath the chin? Yeah. My God, oh my Jesus. Gosh. He'd, have, he'd have 10 catches a week. Yeah. Oh. Different game if you were to play. Oh, now. my God. I mean, I, I tell, somebody somebody said it. Somebody said it's not impressive. You know what? Trent Dilfer said it. My old quarterback in Tampa. I was watching the Bullies of Baltimore the other night, uh-huh. and Dilfer said, <laughs> with the middle of the field as wide open as it is, I can appreciate what they're doing, but it's not impressive. <laughs> wow. And that summed it up for me because I was trying to yeah. figure out a way to, you know, right. not to be the old grumpy 50 plus year old like when right, we right, played, right. but yeah. the middle of the field was precious real estate, son. Right, you, right, you right. Didn't, you didn't just run across that bitch you with, just your run up, oh, like, no, with your hand no, up like, and, and smile. And get... <laughs> so do you, did you find it uh, like um, disrespectful because they said people were saying it was racist to put your glasses back on? I, I don't, I didn't find it that way. But wait, 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 wait. what happened now? Who, what were we talking? You know about? when Skip, when Skip told Shannon, put, put your glasses back on. You know what? That it was more like you ain't about to whoop my ass, so put your glasses back on. Oh, okay, you're not gonna do nothing because when here. a man takes off his glasses, that wears glasses, that's normally yeah. a fight time. Right, right. And that's why I think that's what he said. I'll go go that route with it because, you know, like they were saying, Tony Romo was about to say the N-word. Number 55 55 is clearly a white middle linebacker, so there wasn't three niggas on the tackle. (laughs) So what I I was going to go with was three non-tackling motherfuckers to what he wanted wanted to say. (laughs) He's a nut, nut, right? That was no, come on, number 55 is clearly... A white middle linebacker. Right. Right. There wasn't three niggas missing the tackle. It was right. three right. non-tackling motherfuckers. Non-tackling. No. I think that's where you want to go. Three non-tackling motherfuckers. How can you tell somebody that what they're almost going to say? And there's not three brothers there. <laughs> I mean, just just hey, let, let's let's Look give the somebody tape. the benefit of the doubt until because the one thing I've learned in fifty years of living, if you use this word. There's nothing that's going to stop it from coming out. Right. It flows mm-hmm. off the tongue too it just comes freely. Off the t- easy. Yeah. Too freely for you to stop yeah. it. Right. And when you excite it, she. <laughs> it just come on. Like, you get like, like you're not almost going to say it. Like we say in the hood, coach, nigga, please. <laughs> nigga, please. <laughs> that's how you say that. It's gonna fly. It's gonna fly, nigga, please. Right. It's gonna come fly, on. nigga, please. Right off the tongue. Right okay. off the tongue. 